Hello everyone, Siavash here. Today we're going to learn about PyLint and PIP. If you remember, um, in the last two three videos, when we opened uh, Visual Studio Code, there was a, a message here that you need to install PyLint, and I said just forget about it. PyLint basically is a uh, it's a tool to help you debug your code it helps you find errors it tries to tell you what the error is when you have an error so when uh, that um, that message come here and says you need to install PyLint you just click install and I don't know 80% of the time it installs based on uh, your pip version your python version it may uh, it may install and it may cause a problem so anyways i'm gonna show you the manual way to install it so you can always do it without any problems so let's go to cmd hold the windows key and r to bring up the run menu run window and go to powershell or cmd it doesn't matter CMD is the command prompt, it's the older version. PowerShell uh, is the newer version. This is PowerShell and this is CMD. Microsoft is trying to replace this, uh, replace this CMD, the older version, with the, with the other one, with the PowerShell. So, uh, we're going to use CMD because it's older and most people still use it. Uh, but the uh, the commands are the same. It, it doesn't uh, it doesn't make any difference. So what is pip? Pip basically is a helper. It helps Python and it helps you. You can use pip to install modules, libraries, packages for Python. So what is a module, a library, a package? you don't need to worry about that don't concern yourself with these things just code and code and code and code in time we'll talk about those things um, basically when you wanna uh, when you wanna write a program sometimes you need to do some specific um, things like say you're writing a web application a web application uh, needs a framework uh, it needs some packages, some libraries. In those libraries, there are tools, some code that, that's already been written by some other programmers to help you and make your job easier. Let's say you're trying to write some programs for data analysis. So you can do it from the from the ground up from scratch but you can use some packages some libraries some modules whatever you want to call them that's been already written for you you just install them and you call them because uh, technically you call a function you import them in your program and you call them anyways if you want to install a module uh, a package you use pip so, PyLint, as we said, is a tool, a package that helps you debug your program. Basically, it tells you where your uh, errors, uh, your syntax errors and stuff like that are. Uh, so, uh, to install that, we use pip. First, we're going to update something called setup tools. That's uh, some binary files that you don't need to concern yourself with. Uh, just update them uh, it helps you uh, in your installations and packages uh, and when you want to download packages so we say pip install update setup tools mine is already updated so it says everything is satisfied uh, after this you say pip install and then you type your package name your tool name your library name 
whatever you want to call it. What do we want? We want pylint. So we say pip install pylint. Hit enter and it says it's satisfied because I already installed it. So it says it, uh, it's satisfied. If you got an error, sometimes you get an error. First step is to up, upgrade setup tools and then install pylint. If you get the error again, then upgrade your pip and then install pylint. 99% of time it, it's gonna work and there is no problems. If there was a problem, sometimes it, it's because of the permissions. So just be aware of these things. Now, how do we update pip itself? Well, you have two ways. First, you can say pip install dash dash upgrade pip enter now it says pip is up to date obviously it is uh, so that's how you try to uh, upgrade pip and if your pip is not up to date and you use pip if you look carefully at the end of every usage of pip there will be a, um, a, a statement that says use this command uh, to upgrade pip that's another command using python compiler itself so that's your other choice but basically what i told you here if you do this uh, you're not going to have any problems uh, now let's go back to Visual Studio Code. Let's let's make a uh, shortcut here, and let's forget about this. We that's easier. That's much better. Now we don't get that message. Uh, Visual Studio always said install pylint, install pylint. Now we have pylint. Now let me try to show you what it does. Let's say print. Let's not use the parentheses. Uh, I was hoping that it brings up the pylint. Let's run it, F5. See, this is, this is pylint. As you can see up here, it's pylint. It says missing parentheses in call to print. So, as I said, PyLint is, help, is going to help you and Python write a better code. It, it's going to help you debug your code, troubleshoot your code, find errors in your code, whatever you want to call it. Alright, that would be enough uh, for this video. I'll see you in the next one.